Right now, Kellen Moore is a member of the Detroit Lions, ready to go on the field any moment. This time tomorrow, maybe a little different situation. We hope not, but it all depends on how he performs in the season's final preseason game tonight. And that will have a lot to do with his current status on the team tomorrow. So, as you saw them joining us with tonight's big story live from outside Ford Field, Detroit is sports director Paul Gerke, reporter Matt King. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? We're live in the mitten, if you will. The Lions beating up on the Bills right now. Matthew Stafford, the Lions starter, did get a little playing time tonight. Two for three with a touchdown pass. Then he was taken out of the game. The second stringer, Sean Hill, then came in. The Lions scored two more touchdowns, and we're waiting for Kellen. And there's a lot of empty seats in there right now. Last we've heard, Kellen actually has a helmet on, and the other two quarterbacks, Sean Hill and Matt Stafford, have baseball caps on. <laughs> a lot of empty seats inside there, but we did see some Bronco blue and orange were in there as well. Fans are here to see Kellen maybe get a little bit extra playing time tonight. And now, for lack of a better transition, we're going to toss it to ourselves. Welcome to Detroit. We're in front of Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers. The highly touted Michigan State Boise State game still a day away, but a couple former Broncos taking the field at Ford Field just down the street. We've been all over the Motor City today, and we're going to bring you all that in just a second. But first, we wanted to get our day started off right. We have a, a sandwich called a suicide killer. Dog of the town. Rod Carana left his father's restaurant business in Iraq 35 years ago. Now he owns and runs a liquor store sub shop in the suburb of Taylor, just outside Detroit. And there, he invented the best sandwich in the state of Michigan, using turkey, cheese, and some markedly American ingenuity. We got a little kick to it. Just like, or so Rod says, his favorite football team, the Michigan State Spartans. And I'm sorry to say the Idaho people, you know, that uh, uh, they ain't not gonna stand a chance. Rod's son, born an American citizen, began his senior year at Sparty this week. Big, uh, Michigan State fan, him and his brother. But head deeper into Detroit proper, and the green and white blurs to Honolulu blue and silver. That's right. And with two Boise State alumni taken in back-to-back -back drafts on the roster, the Lions look a little like Broncos. To paraphrase another Idaho celebrity, perhaps we'll call them Loncos. Yeah, right. I guess um, they're trying to keep build a farm here in a system. Hey, I don't know, man. That's, uh, uh. That's going to be a good look for us, Detroit boys. Boys, boys play hard. Got to think that's music from a town that knows it's rock and roll, rap and jazz to the ears of BSU coaches and a compliment made even more flattering when one looks at the fabric of the city itself. A gritty city proud of concrete and steel, pistons and steam, populated by citizens known for hard faces, hard hands and capable of surviving hard times. Citizens who told us they value the same qualities from their sports heroes. Citizens with high hopes from Kellen, Titus, and the Lions. A playoff team, for sure. Playoff caliber team, possibly Super Bowl. Our Super Bowl this time. We ain't holding that for anybody else. We're going to have a Super Bowl, Detroit Lions. No American city other than New Orleans post-Katrina has lost a larger percentage of its population in the last 10 years than Detroit. 25% or one person every 22 minutes for 10 years. But the people of Detroit are optimistic their city's coming back. We struggling, but I think, uh, I think we're going we're gonna to overcome. It ain't getting better. It ain't getting worse. So Detroit is uh, it's doing OK. It's going back. You know, we need more church members to get involved out in the communities and talk to our kids a little more often, have more support, and, and make things more peaceful, man. You know what I'm saying? Sports may seem petty and inconsequential when your businesses have been bailed out, your city emptied out, and its citizens burned out. But sports are also sneaky. From Berlin to Cape Town to New Orleans, we've seen sport facilitate change before. We've seen it distract, motivate, and unite. America, who doesn't like America? This is, uh, uh, is the country to be in. Similarly, making a sandwich, even one delicious sandwich, may seem the slow path to a region's economic revitalization. But Rod says businesses with work ethics like his cordial shop will return Detroit to greatness. And even though he hopes BSU fans return home in shame, he had an offer for Bronco Nation, should they ever return. If anybody who comes to Michigan to visit, visit us, let, let, let me know personally, you know. You can get the sandwich like I mentioned earlier, it's on the house, not a problem. And there you have it from one of America's great cities. And who knew, the Motor City and the City of Trees, kind of kindred spirits. Yeah, this is our last day in Detroit. We're headed off to College Town tomorrow. But first, we're pumped to talk to Kellen Moore and Titus Young tonight.
Titus Young not in action tonight, but Kellen Moore is about to see a lot of action. Early in the second with the Lions leading 28-7, Kellen is in the game, and he's the only other Lions quarterback on the roster. They're kind of giving him the keys to the car. And more literally, the keys to the car tomorrow. Titus and Kellen are driving well, from what we understand alone, up to the Boise State game tomorrow, we'll be there as well. We'll have the very latest on that game, all the hype, and maybe some tailgating action from Bronco supporters. And that's all coming up tomorrow. It's a shame we're not in the back seat of that car. It's true. We wish we were. <laughs> hey, Paul, a quick.